Am I right or am I right? You're right. Goddamn right I'm right. Wait, what were we talking about? Cleveland. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just don't want it to be like last time. Last time you attacked a co-worker with a tire iron. Hey, where's the asshole at? Been up in his room all day. How come? Hey, you know him. He's probably depressed you're leaving tomorrow. Yeah. So, you worried about Cleveland tomorrow? No. Mm, yeah, you know, a little. What are you worried about? A goddamn Protestant. You what? My sister married a Protestant. You know? I mean, how do you talk to them people? I'm not Protestant. Uh, you're different. Oh, Doris party. Who invites old Natwick? Oh, fuck that guy. You know perfectly well I invited you. Ah, uh, can't hear you. Door is locked. What were you doing in there, Natwick? Beating your dick? Oh, yeah. Just throw insults at me. Actually, I'm just here to give you this. Oh. Yeah, it's for my sister. All right, lady. Don't anybody get up to offer me a drink? Okay. We won't. No. I don't need this shit. No, <laughs> sit down. Please. <laughs> Besides, got a surprise for you guys. You know, I have martinis in my room. Many martinis. Some shaken, some stirred. I think he's drunk. I'm not. Yeah, he's drunk. Mother was drunk last night. <laughs> he's very drunk. <laughs> I am not. Give me a drink. I actually don't have enough glasses. Well, today's your lucky day. I brought my own. Very well. Everybody put on your party hats. Oh, Jesus Christ, do we have to? Yes. Jesus Christ! Jesus tit-fucking Christ. Just put it on. Do, do you need help? A little. It's his fault. He can't even put on a goddamn party hat. So I guess you're wondering why I've gathered you here tonight. To make us wear these stupid fucking hats? No. I've gathered you here to give a fond farewell and good fortune to our friend Sylvia. <laughs> And to celebrate the completion of the radio. What? Have you tried it? No. Not yet. Well, then how do you know it's going to work? I've decided it will. Radio is a very complicated thing. I mean, we talked about this. I know. <laughs> but I've worked long enough on this, and I can't be working on it for the rest of my life. So I figured the hell with it. Screwed the back on, and it's now or never. It's never. What? There's no way the radio can work. Why not? Well, I've been taking parts from it. You what? You, you know how many radio parts I had to steal to make this thing work? Uh, like six? I, I stole shit, too. What the fuck? Do you know what this means? It means the radio won't work. People are always stealing from me. I leave my room in the morning. When I return in the evening, it's stripped bare. Hell, even last week, somebody stole my dirty clothes. Sorry. My dirty under... You sick motherfucker. It was cold. But all my life, people have been stealing from me. Stealing everything. Bicycle, baseball cards... Virginity, 
my shoes. What, you live in the hood? Shit. You know what? I'm done being stole from. Shit no longer. From now on, I'm just giving Sunday. my shit away. You want my shoes? Take my fucking shoes. You want my shirt? Fine. Take it. shirt. You want my pants too? Hmm? Hmm? Take the pants. Please. Take it all. Take it all. Those are nice socks. Oh, you, you, you want the socks? You want the goddamn socks? Oh, take it all, you fucking vultures. Take everything and take this goddamn radio with you. I'm sexy. Gately, you know what this means, right? Yeah. Yeah, you fixed the radio. You, you can leave now. Yeah.